There's a very cool plugin called uh, XYZ PHP Code Snippets, and they allow for uh, PHP code to be inserted into a page or a custom post type or post for that matter. And what it does is it creates a short code once you um, put the PHP code into it. So it's kind of a container, almost like a widget or something like that. So, and you know, WordPress generally will garble up uh, PHP code inside of a page or a post. So this is a good way to get around that. And the problem is that sometimes they're on hosting like WP Engine, if there's a script or some other script saying you are not allowed to add PHP to it, you're going to run into an error. So I can show you as an example here, that's creating a new one. We'll call this one uh, display integrations. And if I add this code that we've been testing out, it's a loop and we go ahead and create, it's going to throw an error and we've been blocked. So hopefully that doesn't make that too permanent. That'll take a few moments for it to unblock. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's see here. So as you can see, that can be kind of an issue and we don't want that. So the best thing to do is go back to your XYZ scripts and you're just going to create a new um, script, but a generic one. And then from there, you can add it to the database. And I'll show you how in the upcoming video here. All right, so I was able to go backwards on my browser and we're gonna try this again, see if we can create it. And hopefully the block will be gone. I'll just put test here. And if we create this, there we go. So we have display integrations. And then if we go into our database and refresh this page here, or this, uh, if we refresh where we were at in the XYZ scripts, you'll see that it's there now. So this is at the bottom and then we can go ahead and edit this. And you have your PHP test, and then you just paste in there, and then you want to go ahead and save and then go. And that's now rewritten over that code. So that's it. That's how you create a script. When the hosting is blocking that script, this happens um, with Elementor specifically, and this XYZ script as well. So we were getting a 403 error, and this was able to, this was the way we got around that by going directly to the database and inserting the code there. Hope that helps you. Let me know if you have any questions.